hello students welcome to the last session on your speech preparation hope you have read and understood the given points in your workbook i am eldi ratnakar lecturer in english welcome you all to this session i had told you while preparing this speech what are the points you have to remember because this section carries a five marks easily you can score out of out in it if you remember them along with those points you need to remember some more important points on this topic look at these few points while writing this speech you have to be formal because we are addressing the gathering we have to use only formal language there we have to respect them and it should be in the form of an address because you are asked to prepare a speech on any person personality or on any burning issue or topic there it should be in the form of an address to your teachers and your friends first of all you have to greet the gathering use only formal language functions that means you have to give them respect and you have to address them it is another point you have to remember second one is understand all the details of information given about the topic in that question in this point you need to understand all the details of information that is given in that question because followed by this question i have told you you would get some hints like some words some phrases with the help of those words you have to prepare your own sentences by understanding all the details you have to analyze the topic later you have to analyze the topic and ask yourself how much you know about that topic next one is the content approach like uh, its beginning middle and the conclusion of uh, that topic content approach is very important if you know any sayings about that person or personality you have to write the sayings of uh, that person here later you have to analyze the overall given points of that topic here all these points are taken into consideration first of all you have to understand the information full information the details of the information then analyze that topic and the content approach and how much you know about that topic or that person next point is you have to construct simple meaningful and grammatically acceptable sentences there is no need to construct complex sentences use only simple words and simple sentences which are meaningful which are more meaningful and they are grammatically acceptable sentences use only simple and sentences while writing this passages next one is your speech must be brief and to the point there is no need to exaggerate any points or any information about the topic it should be very brief because you are asked to write a speech in and about 100 words that means one third of that given page you have to utilize for this speech preparation it should be very brief and to the point no need to here exaggerate 
the information there another point is you must prepare meaningful paragraphs like or meaningful sentences this is very important uh, you have to prepare meaningful paragraphs uh, one after another and the last one is don't mechanically repeat the given points like the given sentences write a sentence once don't repeat that sentence mechanically again and again in the paragraph because your time is very brief at that time it is very important don't repeat those sentences along with those three to four sentences of that previous class you need to remember these six more points you have to add them along with those points if you remember these points easily you can prepare a speech of 80 to 100 words and you are going to get out of out in this section if you remember these points now come to the next slide i have told you that while preparing this speech i were asked to write this question in a new page only by writing the correct question number of this section usually you will get this question in question number 33 for 5 marks make at least two paragraphs in this speech it should be in the form of an address i have told you how you are going to introduce the chief guest of the function and you have it should be in that format by making these three paragraphs easily you can construct a meaningful speech these are three paragraphs you have to remember paragraph number one is usually you are going to write uh, this paper your english paper in morning session only that is why it is better to greet the gathering in paragraph number one greeting the gathering first of all you have to greet the gathering like good morning to one and all present here later you have to greet all the dignitaries of that function the dignitaries on and of the dias it should be your greeting this is point number one or paragraph number one in paragraph number two you have to introduce yourself if you are asked to prepare a speech thinking that you are the secretary you are the general secretary or the secretary of college union sports union like that first of all you have to introduce yourself like it gives me an immense pleasure to introduce myself first of all you have to introduce yourself later introduce the topic of the question the topic of the question or the person or the personality of that function followed by this point you will get all the information use all those points in your speech it is just like your expansion of an idea there if you get a word easily you can construct a meaningful sentence out of that word or with the help of that word after introducing yourself introduce the topic and the person it should be paragraph number two in this paragraph you have to include all the points in this content only and in third paragraph in the paragraph number three you have to conclude your speech that means you have to thank all the persons those who had given you to prepare a speech your conclusion should be like this i would like to thank the organizer of this function the principal for giving me this wonderful opportunity thank you one and all it should be your conclusion the concluding part of your speech 
these are the three paragraphs you have to remember while making your speech while preparing your speech here are some previous year examples in this section you are going to get the questions like this here is an example imagine that you are the secretary of your college union on your college union day you have to introduce the chief guest whose profile is given below write a speech in and about 100 words using the points given in the profile whenever you have such type of questions you get the name of that person the birthplace the educational qualification and his profile like his achievements whenever you have this type of question it is just like an introduction of the person in second section that means in the next slide you are asked to prepare a speech on the importance of sports and physical fitness some hints are given there like a physical fitness leads to mental fitness these are the few hints you are going to get like these two examples you have many examples in your previous year question papers and in your pdf file also refer some previous year question papers and prepare your own speech with the help of the given hints in this slide you have an example here this speech had scored out of out in this question look at this speech example there at the beginning there is a greeting a warm welcome to one and all present here later there is an introduction of the speech of the person and in last paragraph there is a thanksgiving it is an example uh, from board itself only this speech has scored out about in this section just look at the each and every sentence of this speech how simple and meaningful sentences she had written in this example simple and meaningful the sentences which are grammatically acceptable by the speakers like this example keep it as a model or a specimen then you have to prepare your own speech with this your examples came to an end on your speech preparation hope you understood all these points with the help of these examples there are some activity complete all those activities in your workbook and solve some previous year question papers on this speech thank you